Welcome, brothers and sisters, to our Lenten series entitled Junk in the Yard. We have been discussing the sin of greed, and today we'll look at another feature showing us how this particular vice is being manifested. A person dealing with the sin of greed searches for comfort everywhere possible. The way how he travels, where he eats, how he spends his time, in everything he would like to be comfortable. Even manipulating people, his relatives and friends, where they will go, whom they will visit, where they will stop and eat, everything not to experience a slightest discomfort because life provides so many difficulties that it's better to increase the level of comfort to compensate for all the discomfort of life. We can see how the culture that surrounds us constantly pushes us to find new ways of relaxing, feeling good, feeling comfortable and well positioned so that no suffering, no pain, no discomfort may affect us in any possible way. Hence, if we continue along this path, we'll avoid everything that would make us feel uncomfortable. Don't you think that it makes us feel annoyed when we have to spend some time waiting in a long line, whether it's a gas station or a store, anywhere else. Everywhere we find ourselves, make sure we find as comfortable setting as possible. These are the marks of a greedy person who will do anything and will try to purchase any possible item to feel comfortable. Better chair, better sofa, more comfortable car, more comfortable furniture, anything not to go through discomfort. God would like to provide the means how to come out from this attitude that we are searching for pleasure pretty much anywhere. Let me begin with a story. Once a traveler was uh, passing through a town and decided to visit his friend who was a monk living in the monastery. And as he walked in, he said, Everything looks so simple. The chairs, not cushioned, rather uncomfortable. Very few things. And he asked, how come it's so basic? And the monk asked the traveler, how come you're traveling with one bag? Because I'm passing through. And the monk replied, I am passing through as well in this world with total simplicity. If you visit different monasteries, especially those with a strict observance, you find that everything is very simple. No commodities, no comfort that we would find at home. These are the signs that we are called to enter in the spirit of mortification, aesthetic approach to life, which probably right away will make us feel uncomfortable because that would mean that we are called to subdue the cravings of our flesh in anything that we are looking for. One of the remedies for this greedy spirit of searching for comfort is an acceptance of discomfort. 
and we need to pray to be assisted by the grace of God. Whether we have to wait or take a seat that is less comfortable, it is a gift. I remember once a person shared an experience that he used to go to a specific meeting and there was a set of comfortable chairs and a greater amount of less comfortable. He used to tell me that mortifying his flesh, willingly he would choose those less comfortable, asking God not to complain when his back was hurting. And here is the key to offer this discomfort to Jesus Christ, uniting ourselves with the passion of Christ, with all the merits that were gained for us through the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord and asking in humility and love, Lord, turn my discomfort into graces for this or that individual that I'm praying for, offering up our discomfort, our pains, our sufferings, even the smallest ones. To conclude, let me say that St. Francis of Assisi used to call our flesh a donkey. And he used to say that if this animal doesn't have the reins of our will, then it will pull any direction and will have to follow our body that desires different things and searches for pleasure and uh, gratification anywhere instead of making the body follow us, so to speak, our will, our decision. As we begin this day, let us ask for the gift of God's grace to accept discomfort, offering everything that happens to us that is unpleasurable to the Lord, asking to turn those discomforts into the graces for the people we are praying for. God bless you, brothers and sisters, as we continue our Lenten Jesus sold for 30 pieces of silver. Guard me from greed and destructive craving for possessions. Help me believe that there is more happiness in giving than in receiving. Grant me a sensitive heart to poverty and generous in sharing. Amen.